Wow, friends, look at how much I was able to save up for quarter number three of this year. Aloha Tuesday everyone and welcome to Cash Me In Paradise. My name is Jocelyn. I'm a cash envelope stuffer and budgeter here in Hawaii. For those of you that are new to my channel, aloha and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. What's good YouTube fam? Aloha and welcome! So happy to have each and every one of you here today. On my channel, you will find all things budgeting, from cash envelope stuffings, saving challenges, sinking fun updates, unboxings, investing, as well as saving up for my house down payment. By the title of today's video, I will be doing my quarter three cash unstuffing. See how much I was able to save up for the third quarter. If you're having a great week so far, give this video a huge thumbs up and let's begin. All right, friends, before we dive into the numbers, I did receive some happy mail that I wanted to go over with you. The first one was from a fellow budgeter here on YouTube. It caught me by surprise. I was so excited when I received it. But look how cute the card is just in time for Halloween. I love the little cupcake and the little, um, the bat and then the little doggy, <laughs> so cute. Oh, and then the little candy corn. Aw, so she sent me some stickers. So love the little, the shaka. <laughs> Aw, and then more Halloween stickers. Thank you so much. So this was from Tracy over at Golden Girl Budgets says hi Jocelyn I guess I should have said aloha sis I just wanted you to know how much I appreciate your support I can't wait for you to reach your 1k house goal you are so sweet thanks for being a friend oh thank you so much Tracy you are so kind yourself if you are not already subscribed to her channel I really hope that you will consider subscribing she is just a ray of sunshine she is so positive and so humble thank you again Tracy and the next one was my sticker kit for October, and this is from Mint by Katie. I'll just go ahead and open it up real quick. Aw, so she sent me some stickers. I love that she has like the workout, the coffee, more like shopping. Aw, look how cute this is. I love that it has the little Halloween vibes, the little ghosts. Oh, and the little witch and the bats and the little date dots down here. So I'm so excited to set up my calendar spread for the month of October. All right, friends, let's go ahead and get right into my cash unstuffing. If you are new to the budget community, sinking funds are a strategic way to set aside money every month or every paycheck for a future expense. All right, so first up, we have my aqua blue binder. And so every paycheck, I do set aside money in each of these categories. I do basically kind of stick with the same budget month over month. And then every quarter, I like to reevaluate the numbers to see if there's any areas that I need to either increase the amount or to decrease the amount. So first up is for my new car. And I do cash stuff my paychecks with real cash. And then at the end of each month, I'd like to also do a sinking funds update video and I do like a bill swap. So in new car for this uh, quarter, I was able to save 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, and 475. For car maintenance, I was able to save up 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 495, and 500. Moving right along, we have my emergency fund. 
and I did have to pull from this for my cat pumpkin. She had emergency pet visit, so I was able to take some money from that. So happy that I had this category. In the past, you know, I would have to charge my card, and that's how I was able to, you know, max um, a lot of debt. But I'm so not. I'm so happy to announce that I am debt free. Emergency fund has 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 420, 40, 60, 80, 500, 550, 570, and 575. All right, and this is for my new house. So if you are new to my channel, the goal amount right now is to save up a total of $100,000. So this quarter is able to save up 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 5,600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 57, 20, 40, 60, 80, 58, 20, 40, 60, 80, 59, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 6,000. Yeah, yeah. All right, moving right along, we have birthdays. Birthdays, I was able to save up 100, 150, 170, and 175. For LASIK eye surgery, I was able to save up 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 220, 25, 30, 35, and 240. Next category is for beauty. So anytime I get a haircut, so this is going to be 100, 120, 140, 145, and 150. All right, and the next three categories are for my three beautiful nieces. Every paycheck I do set aside $15 and then at the end of the month, I do participate in the $1 investing challenge from Mommy Trader. For Sky, she has 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, and 90. Right, for Hoku, she should have um, the same amount as well. 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. And then for Leah, she should also have 90 as well. 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, and 90. Ooh, she's looking a lot thinner. <laughs> Next up, we have my future binder. First category is going to be for my health. So these are like any like copies or any doctor visits or medication. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, and 120. Next is for subscription. So this is for like my Amazon Prime, YouTube Premium. I was able to save up 100, 120, 140, 145, and 150. For postage, this is for like my um, renewal for my P.O. box. So we have 100, 120, 140, 145, and 150. Next is for electronics. I am saving up for a brand new iPad. I was able to save up so far 100, 200, 50, 300, 20, 40, 65, 70, 1, 2, and 3. Next is for my three to six month expenses. It has 100, 200, 50, 300, 350, 400, 20, 40, 60, 75, so 475. For taxes, I was able to save up 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 215, 225, 30, and 235. Right, and then the last category for this binder is for YouTube, so anything I need for the channel or any giveaways. I was able to save up 100, 120, 140, 60, 80, 200, 210, 25, 35, 45, and 250. Right, let's get right into my house binder. So these are categories that I am saving up for my future house. So these are any expenses that are, will be related for like house um, expenses. First up, we have my closing costs. So for closing costs, I was able to save up 100, 200, 220, 40, 65, and 270. All 
Next is for homeowner's insurance. It has 100, 200, 220, 35, 36, and 37. So 237. Sorry if you hear any background noise. My cat is running around the house. Next up is for furniture. Furniture has 100, 150, 170, 190, 195, 200, 5, 6, and 207. Next is for HOA fees. I'm not sure if my house will have one or not, but I just want to be prepared. It has 100, 200, 205, 10, 15, 20, 1, and 2, so $222. Next category is for maintenance. Maintenance has 100, 200, 20, 5, 30, 5, 40, and 1. So 241. Utilities has 100, 200, 220, 5, 6, and 7. So 227. Landscape has 100, 200, 220, 45, 50, 1, 2, and 3, so 253. And then the last category is going to be for security. It has 100, 120, 40, 50, and 155. Next up, we have my saving challenges. So for this month, I did a new saving challenge, which was the Cirque de Larry, and that was created by Alicia over at Hands and Bands. So I have 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 76, 37, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 105. And I will be restuffing this in my saving um, challenge cash stuffing video in a couple of videos to come. So stay tuned for that. Alright, so I have my saving challenge binder here. So this is for the mystery scratch off challenge. So for this one, I saved up 51, 150, 170, 180, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 190. For this one, I'm just going to put it back inside so I can go ahead and complete the challenge. And then I'm going to be restuffing this into my home binder. For the tiger saving challenge, same thing. But I was able to save up 1,000, 11, 12, 1,300. 1350, 1400, 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78. So 1478. And then this is a new saving challenge that I started. So this is the pumpkin challenge, the mystery scratch off. This is from Vicky over at Happy Budgeting Mom. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So same thing, I'm going to just leave it inside and then at the end I'm going to reallocate it to my house binder. For the 26 week saving challenge, so I did start this a few weeks back. So far I was able to save up 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 300, 10, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy, one, two, and three. All right, and then the last one is for House Opoly. So I did start this challenge at the beginning of this year. Same thing, I just want to see how much I was able to save up in the first year. So far, we have 1,015, 2,000. 2050, 21, 50, 2200, 22, 20, 40, 50, 65, 75. So 2275. Wow, friends, look at how much I was able to save up for quarter number three of this year. So excited to see how much I was able to stuff going to go ahead and just calculate all of the numbers and we will go over all of them in a moment so stay tuned all right friends let's dive right into the numbers 
At the top here are my digital online accounts. I don't actually take out any physical cash for these. Instead, every paycheck, I have a designated amount that I set aside. And then at the end of the month, I like to just do a update with you all. So for Christmas, we started with 628, added 97 for a total of $725 saved so far. Car registration started with 425, added 70, and we left off with 495. Vacation, I started with 400, we added another 100 for a total of $500 saved so far. Down here is my aqua blue binder. So we did start off the month with these amounts here. We added all of these in the middle column for a total um, of these on the side over here. For my future binder, same thing. We started off with these amounts listed over here. We added all of these. And then these are the total amounts that I was able to save up for my future binder. Let me go ahead and flip you all to the back real quick. Right at the top is for my house binder. Same thing on the left column. We started with those amounts. Added the middle column for a grand total on the far right. And then on the bottom over here are my saving challenges. Same thing, we started the amounts over here. Added the middle column and then for a grand total here. So we started off the month with a total saved of $23,964. Drum roll. So I was able to add a total of $6,601 for a grand whopping total of $30,565 saved. Damn! I'm so excited for the amount that I was able to save this month. Every amount adds up, you guys. Don't let everybody else's journey either intimidate you, but let it just be an encouragement. We all are on separate journeys. I wasn't able to save a lot of money several years back, but with hard work, dedication, and focus, you will all get there. I'm cheering all of you on, so thank you so much for your support. All right, friends, that's going to do it for another cash unstuffing video. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you've made it this far into the video, go ahead and comment down below. Hashtag quarter cash unstuffing. And I will catch you all in my next video. Aloha. Take care.